that sniper hadn't beaten you to it. I know you would have taken the shot, Olivia. No, I wouldn't have. Did you really expect me to? Did you really expect me to cause your death? What about your kids? I don't know. Just couldn't get that boy out of my head. What about me? Look, we both chose each other over the job. We can never let that happen again. Can't be partners. I can't believe you're saying that. You and this job are about the only things I've got anymore. I don't want to wreck that. And take it. You're crazy, they could have somebody watching the place. We lost contact with you. I had to come. Why aren't you answering the cell phone we gave you? Because they took it along with my wallet. There was nothing I could do about it. Okay, so take mine and hide it somewhere. That way I'll tell Craig that you have it. Tell Kathy, too. I just saw her. She mad? She's worse than mad, and I can't say that I blame her. Well, Liv, what the hell am I supposed to do? Tell the bad guys I gotta get home for diaper duty? Hey, you go undercover again and don't tell Kathy. You'll be safer here than home. Call her. Mike! Come on, Mike, let us in! That's him. That's him. Okay. Let us in. Take this. Take this. Here is him. Mike! Hey. Who are you just talking to? What? Who are you talking to? Nobody. You wearing ladies' panties, too? Hey, no. Hmm, are you ready for me, Daddy? Oh, didn't know we were having a party. That's gonna be 100 to watch, 250 to join each. That's gonna eat, huh? <laughs> you got good taste, I'll give you that. Get her out of here. Why so tense? Um, not tonight. Well, guess what? You still gotta pay. <laughs> hey, one of your neighbors let me in. I was in the neighborhood before I give you a lift to work. Elliot, what's going on? Last night, Munch offered to give me a lift home. Munch did that? Yeah, that's not like him, is it? And this morning, you're offering to drive me to work in the neighborhood? I was. Uh-huh. You have a sedan with you? Yep. Which means that you drove all the way uptown from the Queensboro Bridge, dropped off the car, picked up the sedan, turned around all the way back downtown to get here? That's a lot of neighborhood, my friend. Stop acting like a cop. Mm hmm That's what Richard White would like me to do. Look, I appreciate everyone's concern. But we don't know that White's coming for me. He may have gone out of town. Okay. He sure as hell wouldn't drive to Queens to save your ass. Yeah, you would. Well, maybe that's only because you have a wife and kids. Yeah. Yeah. Stabler. We'll be right there. I'll walk you in. I know how to protect myself. I'm not a civilian. You're not a superhero either. Elliot. If I let White change my life in any way, he wins. I'm not gonna let him win. It's not about winning. Yeah, it is. Blink your lights when you get inside. You're just gonna sit here all night until I do, aren't you? Stubborn son of a bitch. Yes, I am. <laughs> See you tomorrow. How's the baby? Pick a name. 
Kathy wants to name him after me. Just what the world needs, another Elliot Stabler. Welcome to the swing set. I'm Suzette. Hi, Suzette. Uh, this is my wife, Olivia. I'm Elliot. And you were invited by? A friend of my husband, Jerry Bullard. Jerry, one of our best members. First time experiencing the lifestyle? Is it that obvious? You two are gonna have a lot of fun. Come on. Two club sodas for our new friends. Coming right up. So, um, since this is our first time, is it okay if we just, you know, just watch? Yes. Absolutely. Don't feel any pressure to do anything. You can walk around and mingle, or just sit back, relax, and drink it all in. Although what you see will be very tempting. Enjoy, folks. Thank you. To quenching your every thirst. Uh, so uh, Jerry said that he was going to be here tonight. Have you seen him? Not yet. But you want to find Jerry, just look for Cassandra. Who's Cassandra? I'm surprised you didn't mention her. He probably wants to keep her all to himself. Uh. Oh, there she is now. <laughs> wow. She's beautiful. See what I mean about temptation? Olivia, Hi. glad you could make it. Not half as glad as we are. Do you mind if your husband buys me a drink? Well, if he doesn't, I will. Well, what do you have? Scotch on the rocks, splash of water. Coming right up. So uh, Suzette says you know our friend Jerry? Yeah. Jerry and I played together just the other night. I hope he didn't give you all the details and spoil the fun. Jerry didn't say a word, except we should come here and play too. Uh. Hi. Hi. Haven't seen you here before. No, I'm Olivia. I'm a newbie. Oh, we love newbies. <laughs> Elliot. Mm -hmm. Come here. I want to show you something. Relax, Olivia. You're safe with us. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Half of them admitted they couldn't tell their neighbors from the farm. Could you? Can I what? Tell your neighbors apart. Why? Because I live here? What? I'm never home. I'm always with you. Yeah, people say the suburbs are anonymous. Oh, now Queens is a suburb. Since when? Since we got a little space, some trees, grass to mow. Yeah, I got a regular 8 by 10 of you out there mowing the lawn. Uh, I do. Sometimes. Oh, admit it. Kathy does all the housework. Oh, you're I... never there. OK, I admit it. Kathy's the man of the house. Exactly. Until Dickie's old enough. <laughs> hey, you're lucky. You got nothing to worry about. Definitely got no lawn to mow. Yeah, I'm a regular monk. Monk yet. What? Nothing. River Park PD went to pick up Marsden. He jumped bail. Does the girlfriend know anything? No. Do you? What are you saying, Elliot? Your family, aren't you? I would never interfere with an investigation. Never. And screw you for saying that. Hey, look, I'm sorry, but I had to ask. Thanks for waiting. I discussed your situation with George Wong, and at his recommendation, I want you to undergo an independent psychological assessment. Why? So I can decide if it's appropriate for you to continue working together. And if we refuse? You make my decision easy.
In my opinion, Detectives Benson and Stabler have a degree of mutual reliance and emotional dependence that compromises their effectiveness as police officers. In other words? They're too close. You recommend I split them up? If you want to lose your two best detectives. <laughs>